Hello, I'm Stamati from Redware. I'm going to show you how our Power BI connector for QuickBooks works. And I'm going to show you how you can access the data from the web, from the Power BI app, from Excel, and by downloading our PBIX so you've got full total control over all your data. I hope you enjoy the video. <music> We can view Power BI in many different ways. We've got an app. We can view it from Power BI desktop. We can view it from the web. We can extract the data into Excel and so on. The quickest way for me to show you right now is if you go to our website, I've got an embedded report here and we can view it in the web. But if you hang on in the rest of this demo, I'll show you how to access it from Excel and from the PBIX, as well as from Power BI in the cloud. But first, let's have a look at some of the features of our report. So we have buttons that categorize uh, what you want to access. You can access customers, suppliers, your finance pages, products, nominals, payments, and so on. And we're building special screens for debtors, for example, and more will be coming. You can access this quickly as a template app and it will update automatically for you. So let's have a quick look at customers. We'll click here on customers. And this is showing you the customers from multiple different legal entities. This is being downloaded from three or four different entities. And you can see the legal entity is telling you which version of QuickBooks this came from. And of course, we've got a filter here. So we can filter, for example, by US. And that's only going to show us the US customers here. If I click on one item, I've got a drill down, which we represent by a button with a right arrow. And that's going to drill down into a form that's specifically just showing us the customer and the invoice. And if you select on the invoice, we've got another drill down that will drill down into there. So the left arrow is a back, the right arrow is a drill down. The down arrow is going to go to a different entity. So here we're on the customers and we can look at the sales documents for all those customers. And then we can push down into the sales items, which shows us breakdown by product. Now we could filter here. For example, I could filter on bills, customer name. And then as we go up, you'll see that filter is kept for the customer until we clear it. So that is quickly uh, a look at customers. Obviously the power of BI is we've got these uh, graphics on the top. If you click on the top right, you'll go back to the home button. And I just want to show you some of the features of finance, but please go and look at this on the web yourselves. So here's our finance page. It's summarizing right from the very fundamental nominal transaction. So there's no summary in our data. It's going right back to each individual transaction. So you could drill down to each individual transaction if you wanted to. And here we've got a matrix that's split up by legal entity here along the top. And we could just change that to period year. And it would split it by year or back to legal entity and so forth. So I just want to show you uh, a little bit here on some of the more advanced features that let's select data in Power BI. So let's look at the finance here. It's a summary. It's showing you it by legal entity. Now, if you've got a matrix, you, you've got these buttons on the right, so you can drill down. So see here, we've got legal entity period, year, period, and currency. Currently, we're looking at it by legal entity. But if we click on these uh, buttons here, we can change it. So now it's looking at it by year. And if we do it again, it's looking at it by period. And of course, I can filter here on the period so we can just see the data for one period if we wanted to. Here with this button, we can expand two levels at the same time. So we've got legal entity and year here. Or if we go down one further, it's broken down by legal entity, year, and 
once. The second way of viewing a Power BI report, and in fact, if you log into Power BI and download our template app, this is what you'll see. Now it's got demo data in, and once you've followed our instruction video, you can download your own snapshot of your own data from the web just by putting your serial number in here. So that's what you'll need to do. But for now, the report has got the same data as before. I'm going to show you how to export this to Excel and make the whole data model available to you in Excel. So you're going to have an export button here where you analyze in Excel, and this will download either to Excel desktop in my case here, or Excel web, if you've got uh, the web version installed. And what will happen is you'll see on the right hand side here, you'll see we've got a pivot table and we've got all the measures that are being created as we download the data. So obviously you need to be familiar with this. I'm just going to put in the customer name from the customers table. And I'm going to get the net base from the sales documents table, which is the, the sales. And I'm going to add that up in the sum column over here. So now we're looking at the sum of the sales invoices per customer. And then quickly, I could just add legal entity, for example, from the customer table, and that's going to split it by legal entity. And if I push this up like that, I've got it sales split by legal entity. So the whole data is in there, all the nominal transactions, everything. So that should be great for your Excel users. Now, most of your users are going to be using perhaps the Power BI application, which I've got open here. And you will have downloaded the template here or distributed your own, and they can just access it by opening that up. It's going to open up the template and refresh the data. And it's basically a very similar interface to before. So I don't need to show you uh, that again. Finally, of course, the whole point of using Power BI is that you can fully customize the report. So here I've opened the PBIX in Power BI desktop. You can edit everything here, absolutely everything. And by the way, you would edit parameters to put your serial number in there to connect to your own data. And let's have a quick look at some of the data. So if we look, for example, the nominal transactions. There's the nominal transactions. You have every single transaction here for all the different legal entities that you've downloaded. All the data is there. You have the nominals. Everything is broken down by legal entity and everything is carefully thought through so that all the relationships work and so on. You, I recommend you save this as so that the original will update, the template will update, and you'll have your own copy. But you can just add your own visuals here. You can, for example, let's go for nominals, and let's pull the nominal name on there, and let's uh, look at the nominal transactions, and pull in the base amount so it's multi-currency, pull in the legal entity so that we can split it by instance, and there you go. There's your data. I have to sum this. There's your data all added up by legal entity. You can turn this into a matrix and you can do anything you want. That is super fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please go to redware.com and have a look at the instructions so you can download and create your own snapshot of your multi-company QuickBooks data into Power BI for free. Thank you.